myself Gordon Karnati. Uh, today, uh, Gordon Karnati, I am going to give the Selenium automation demo. Uh, so, myself uh, Gordon Karnati, I have around nine years of experience uh, in software testing. I have around uh, seven years of experience in Selenium automation testing. I have good experience in RC, Selenium ID, uh, uh, web driver, uh, test in the JV unit. I uh, have experience in Java. Uh, and um, I have good experience in different types of tools uh, uh, like uh, Jira, Rally, Jafire, and uh, uh, I have experience in Agile methodology. Okay, and uh, today uh, I'm going to give the Selenium automation uh, demo testing and agenda. Uh, oh, oh, first uh, we will discuss the just overview of SDLC. And testing ways, what is mean by testing, and what is mean by functionality, why testing, why defects occur, what is mean by automation testing, and what is mean by uh, automation, uh, automation in software testing, types of automation tools, advantages of Selenium, benefits of my course. Oh, first of all, overview of uh, we will discuss the overview of SDLC. SDLC means software development life cycle. Uh, actually, uh, whenever we are starting with uh, our project or product, uh, we will go through like a software development life cycle. Actually, uh, software development life cycle starts with the initial phase. Uh, in the initial phase, requirements gathering from the uh, client or customer, uh, this can be done by the BA people or high level team project managers. Uh, uh, in the initial phase, they will gather all types of requirements uh, which application, like uh, which on um, which domain, banking domain or e commerce domain, they will gather all types of requirements. Uh, and the next phase is analysis phase. Uh, in this phase, they will analyze the requirements. Uh, uh, these requirements uh, are possible or not, uh, how many resources we need, how much time we have to take. Uh, so these type of all the uh, uh, things uh, they will analyze in this phase. And next one is the design phase. In, in the design phase, uh, they will design the, uh, there is a two types of designs like uh, HLD and LLD. HLD mean high level designing and uh, LLD mean uh, low level designing. Uh, in the HLD, they will design the uh, how many modules are there, how many, uh, many sub modules are there. Uh, in the uh, and in the low level designing, uh, in the page, uh, how many, uh, what are the exactly requirements, what are the buttons, what are the checkboxes, uh, these type of things they will design. Next one is coding phase. In the coding phase, and developers uh, uh, or programmers will develop the code. Okay. Uh, next one is testing phase. In the testing phase, uh, uh, test engineers will test the application. This is our job. Next one is release and maintenance. Uh, after completion of the uh, application development, they will release the application and uh, if any maintenance and any enhancement, they will uh, do the maintenance. Uh, next one is uh, testing ways. Testing ways mean actually whenever we are going to test one application, there is a two types of ways. Uh, like uh, one is manual testing and another one is automation testing. Actually, in the manual testing also, there is a uh, white box testing and black box testing and gray box testing. Uh, white box testing mean like uh, uh, actually, with uh, internal structure and logic of the program code is called uh, is called uh, white box testing. Uh, without internal knowledge and logic of the program code is called white box testing. As per the user user point of view, test engineers will test the application is called black box testing. A combination of black box and white box testing is called gray box testing. Okay. First of all, what is mean by testing? What we have to do uh, the testing? So, testing actually what uh, it 
application meets the customer expected requirements or not to test the product or application it meets the customer expected requirements or not and uh, otherwise or uh, uh, test the functionality of the application is called testing okay what is mean by functionality first of all functionality mean behavior of the application is called functionality first of all why testing why testing mean to eliminate the errors or defects to improve the quality of the application is called uh, so uh, eliminate the errors or defects and to improve the quality of the application so this purpose we will do the testing and why uh, in the why testing we have discussed about uh, uh, defects we, we have to eliminate the defects first of all why defects occur actually in the companies they will give the uh, requirements like a uh, one year requirement uh, they will say it's like uh, uh, how to development in three months uh, otherwise like uh, three years uh, application they will give uh, they will say it's like uh, how to development in six months uh, mean it's a time pressure okay this time pressure and miscommunication miscommunication mean in our companies uh, every day we will discuss like uh, different types of uh, clients uh, like uh, uh, us clients uk clients uh, japanese clients uh, chinese clients uh, their their uh, accent is some different uh, like uh, they are saying something sometimes uh, we are understanding something so in that case uh, there is a miscommunication and uh, uh, some uh, next one is uh, dynamically changing the requirements uh, dynamically changing the requirements mean uh, sometimes uh, uh, clients uh, they won't get the clarity about uh, the application uh, sometimes they will give the application like uh, uh, put uh, put it a checkbox uh, put it a uh, radio button they will change the requirement dynamically so uh, in that case uh, we will get the defects next one is hard coding actually uh, every day developers will develop the number of pages uh, and in a thousand lines of code uh, in the application so that time um, uh, defects will occur and next one is lack of documentation in, in the lack of documentation mean like uh, it's, uh, uh, every day we will develop the number of requirements uh, for each and every requirement uh, for documentation, it's uh, very difficult to prepare the documentation. So, for uh, so uh, number of times uh, they won't give the uh, clear um, documentation. Uh, in agile methodology, there is no documentation. They will explain the requirement uh, um, and uh, they will write that just briefly uh, in the ticket. So that time there is no documentation. In that case also we get the defects. Okay. And next one is uh, uh, what is automation testing? Actually, what is automation? Uh, automation actually automation is a process of implementing a particular work automatically by using a machine, uh, uh, machine or tool. Okay. Or uh, we are using a software to reduce the need of uh, human resource or human work in the production of tools and service. Whatever it is, if you are developing, if you are working, if you are manufacturing a particular product, uh, then in, in that case, if you are using a machine or tool, it's called automation. Okay. In, in automation, automation uh in software testing uh actually it is a process of testing an application actually in in, in this uh, uh, soft automation uh, software testing uh, we will prepare the test cases uh, we will execute the test cases we will compare the result and we will generate the reports uh, in, in this uh, uh, 
uh, we will use number of automation tools like uh, we will use a selenium qtp rft self test different types of uh, automation tools we can use and the next one is types of automation actually uh, in the market there, there is a number of tools are there available like uh, um, pay tools like uh, and open source tools uh, there is a in the pay tools there is a qtp winrunner self test uh, this type of tools so these you know, these tools are very uh, expensive and uh, in the open source tools like uh, there is a selenium uh, sahi sikuli auto it this type of tools so these are freeware so we can freely download in the uh, google and we can use these tools okay and uh, actually uh, what are the uh, advantages of selenium actually uh, see uh, in the market there is a lot of automation tools uh, are there then why you choose selenium only okay so mean like uh, you say it's like uh, uh, actually selenium is a open source tool that's why i'm choosing the selenium automation tool selenium uh, okay it's okay uh, that, uh, that is you are saying like uh, uh, selenium is a uh, freeware you are choosing but in the freeware also there is a lot of tools uh, other tools like uh, sahi sikuli auto it there is a lot of tools are there then why you choose only selenium actually selenium is an open source tool and it can automate any web application there is a lot of advantages with selenium uh, it is a perfect uh, browser automation tool and uh, uh if you want to uh, see uh, for example if you take qtp uh, it's a, a, a high expensive tool uh, if you want to write your automation script uh, you have to learn vb script you have to write only on vb script but whereas uh, selenium if you want to write automation script we can write in java ruby c sharp all python these type of languages we can write whatever uh, your application is developed on uh, java ruby uh, any language you can easily write your automation script in these languages and we can easily execute uh, and next one is um, next advantage is uh, we can run our automation script in many of the browsers uh, if you take the qtp we have to execute only on a e browser but in our selenium we can execute our automation script in a e browser and firefox browser chrome browser safari opera etc these type of number of browsers uh, we can uh, we can execute our selenium automation script this is a very good advantage because in our application uh, our client says like uh, uh, how to test the compatibility testing compatibility testing mean um, we how to uh, in the compatibility there is a two types of uh, testing like uh, uh, browser compatibility and system compatibility in the browser compatibility uh, we have to test these type of number of browsers and number of versions. Um, in, in this also, there is a different uh, two ways. One is uh, backward compatibility and forward compatibility. Backward compatibility means uh, older version of the browsers also our application how to execute, how to run the application. Uh, forward compatibility means uh updated versions also uh we can execute uh we can open we can browse our application okay that is the forward compatibility in the system compatibility uh as per the client requirement uh, uh, uh system depend upon the system configuration we have to uh, open our application that is system uh, compatibility testing and uh, 
next one is and very important advantage is uh, advantage of selenium is uh, actually selenium can handle we can execute number of operating systems number of OS, number of operating systems uh, like uh, our script we can execute unix linux windows mac etc these type of operating system so we can easily executing we can execute actually if you take uh, qtp we have to execute only on windows operating system it cannot support uh, like the uh, uh, unix mac uh, linux other operating system it's very difficult to handle it is not handling it's a uh, uh, it, it is not handling uh, actually this is the only main reason they are uh, small and medium range companies are migrating or uh, migrating to selenium they are going to implement the selenium actually sometimes so uh, they are developing their automation script uh, uh, in Windows operating system, they have to execute in other operating system that is possible only with Selenium. This is a very, very good advantage. This is the only main reason they are migrating to QTP to Selenium or other uh, automation tools to Selenium. Okay, and the next one is uh, uh, Selenium also can handle the. Uh, other advantages uh, like uh, it can handle the uh, check boxes, radio buttons, uh, links, uh, uh, this type of uh, all the uh, uh, all the things uh, it can easily handle, and it can handle the alerts, uh, and it can handle the frames, uh, and it can handle the mouse over events, it can handle the multiple windows uh, uh, handling. Uh, it, uh, multiple windows mean uh, whenever we are opening the uh, application uh, if you are clicking the button or link the, it is opening one window uh, in that window if you are clicking the button or link uh, again it will open other new window uh, in that way it will open number of uh, windows uh, that time it's a very difficult to handle in other automation tools but in selenium we can easily handle uh, this multiple windows okay and uh, lfs uh, whenever uh, we are clicking the uh, button without entering the username and password it shows the alert uh, if you are that is a confirmation window if you want to continue uh, that uh, you have to click the OK button or cancel button. Okay. In uh, Selenium, we can easily handle this one. Uh, the alerts and frames. So frames also we can easily handle. Mouse over events. Mouse over events. Actually, uh, whenever we are moving the mouse, sometimes it will display the um, menu items. So if you keep the mouse only, it will display the. Uh, menu items, so list of items. So, so these type of uh, mouse over events we can easily handle. Uh, and uh, Ajax, so whenever we are clicking the link or button, uh, it won't uh, refresh the browser, it won't uh, refresh the application. Uh, it's uh, internally refresh and execute. That is, uh, a, these type of uh, Ajax uh, windows we can easily handle it with Selenium. Okay, these type of uh, number of advantages uh, using Selenium. And uh, overview of, uh, actually, see, uh, in Selenium, there is a, uh, actually, Selenium is not a single tool. It's a suit of tools. It contains uh, the Selenium IDE, Selenium RC, WebDriver, uh, and Selenium Grid. These type of tools combination is called uh, uh, selenium okay right. in that uh, there is a uh, selenium ide also actually selenium ide ide means integrated development environment 
IDE is a record and playback tool. It's like uh, how QTP will record, uh, same like uh, you uh, in Selenium also there is a tool. IDE using this tool we can record and playback. The, okay, and using Selenium IDE we can create the uh, we can create the test cases. Uh, and we can create the test suits and we can insert the new commands so we can keep the breakpoints so we can execute uh, like uh, we can debug the um, we can debug the script uh, and uh, we can execute the line by line and we can generate the temporary result uh, we can execute the single test case and we can execute as a batch um, uh, batch runner like uh, multiple test cases at a time and we can generate the logs uh, and we can uh, once we record our script uh, we can convert to the different types of languages okay uh, so we can easily convert uh, using the selenium IDE and we can use the synchronization points like wait points also we can easily use okay these type of advantages uh, using selenium and uh, same like uh, Selenium RC also. Selenium RC, RC mean actually um, it's a jar file. Using this jar file, we can handle, we can execute uh, uh, on IE browser, Chrome browser, Firefox browser. We can easily execute and we can handle the checkboxes, radio buttons, uh, uh, links, uh, edit boxes, this type of all the things we can easily execute. And uh, there is a few of the drawbacks uh, in Selenium RC. Uh, actually, uh, using Selenium, there is a lot of advantages, and uh, only one drawback is Selenium cannot handle the desktop application or Win32 application. This is the only the drawback. Uh, this is also they are going to implement in future. Okay. Uh, and uh, next one is uh, uh, in Selenium RC. Uh, it's a bit problem to handle the uh, alerts of frames in mouse over events and multiple windows handle. But uh, with WebDriver, we can easily handle these type of all the things. WebDriver is a perfect, perfect browser automation tool. Okay, using this WebDriver, we can handle any application. Uh, any web application we can uh, handle okay uh, using web driver we can handle the alerts we can handle the mouse over events multiple windows handling we can easily to handle all the things and we can handle the ajax also okay uh, so next one is benefits of my course actually in my course uh, uh, I will explain you like the Selenium IDE, using IDE, how we can uh, create the test, uh, how we can create the test suit, so how we can check the uh, logs, uh, how we can convert the uh, different types of languages, uh, how we can create the batch runner like uh, multiple test cases, uh, and how we can execute at a time uh, all the test cases, and uh, how we can keep the breakpoints, uh, how we can uh, use the synchronization points so all these things uh, I will explain you in Selenium IDE and uh, next one is Java in Java I will explain you uh, you uh, basic Java like uh, I'm not going to in depth of Java I'm not going to explain in depth of Java I will explain you how much depth we need to uh, learn in Selenium uh, how we can develop using the Java uh, how we can develop our Selenium automation script using Java. In that depth, I will explain you Java. Uh, in Java, I will explain you like uh, how we can declare the variables uh, and the if conditions, so for loops, so while loops, so, uh, what is the difference between static and non static, uh, and uh, what is the difference between uh, class and interface, uh, how we can create the interfaces and how we can create the different types of methods uh, and uh, what are the Java collections uh, uh, and the concept. Uh, all these things uh, I will explain you in 
Java. And next one is Selenium RC. In Selenium RC, how we can configure, how we can install. Uh, in Java, I will explain you how we can use the uh, Eclipse editor and how we can develop uh, the Java. Uh, so all these things uh, I will explain you. In Selenium RC, I will explain you how we can configure uh, Selenium and uh, how we can create the test cases, how we can execute, uh, how we can handle the checkboxes, radio buttons, all these things. Uh, uh, to how we can handle, I will explain you in Selenium RC. Okay, and uh, next one is JUnit. Uh, in JUnit, uh, what is the advantage of JUnit uh, and uh, what are the annotations? Uh, how we can generate the temporary result? Uh, how we can check the errors? Uh, uh, how we can use the annotations? So, uh, what are the types of annotations? Uh, I will explain you in JVT and uh, test engine. In test engine, how we how to install the uh, test engine plugin? What is the difference between the JVT and test engine? And uh, how? <coughs> excuse me. Uh, how? What is the? Uh, what are the advantages of uh, test engine? What are the annotations of test engine? Uh, how many uh, types of uh, annotations in test and uh, how we can use, how we can configure, uh, how we can execute, and uh, uh, how we how to generate the HTML reports. Uh, all these things uh, I will explain you in test and Next one is web driver. In web driver, I will explain you uh, like uh, uh, how we can configure. Uh, the driver and uh, how we can create the test cases, how we can execute the multiple test cases, uh, and uh, uh, how we can handle the alerts of pain, so most over events and uh, chocks, so, uh, how we can how to handle and how we can configure uh, test engine with the driver, uh, how we have to execute all these things. I will explain you in the driver. And next one is and. Uh, uh, what is mean by and uh, how we have to configure and uh, uh, how we have to uh, actually what is mean by and actually and is a um, build tool uh, so using how we have to build the multiple Java files and how we have to execute in the command line uh, how we have to uh, execute all the uh, Auto, uh, Selenium automation script in the command line uh, and uh, other operating system how we have to execute uh, because actually this is a very important topic because uh, in my company um, I will develop my Selenium automation script in uh, Windows operating system I want I how to execute in my client operating system my client operating system is Mac and uh, other system is uh, uh, Ubuntu Linux operating system. So these type of different operating systems. So how to execute using the and or Maven uh, only. This is possible. Okay, and Maven. Maven also build tool. Uh, in there is a different types of dependencies and plugins. Uh, using Maven, we can uh, build and we can execute uh, multiple Java files. Uh, we can run as a uh, batch runner and next one is framework actually in the framework uh, I will explain you uh, if, uh, general framework like mean how we how to uh, execute uh, multiple uh, test cases and uh, how we how to uh, create the property file and the screenshots folder and uh, how we how to uh, execute the basic uh, uh, that test base file. How we how to configure uh, this type of uh, general framework, and uh, I will execute the. Uh, I will explain you the web driver test engine data driven framework. So in this framework, we can handle one complete application, uh, like uh, starting to ending, uh, starting how we how to. Create the test cases and test suits 
one should multiple test cases and how we can uh, execute only one suit how we have to execute all the suits at a time how we have to create the uh, property files like uh, property files and uh, how we can create the repository property file so all the things uh, i will explain you in the webdriver test ng data driven framework and the next one is i will explain you cucumber framework also uh, using cucumber framework uh, we can execute uh, cucumber like uh, bdd behavior driven development okay uh, so in this we can execute uh, cucumber framework using selenium we can handle the uh, cucumber framework also okay um, this is my demo uh, thank you uh, if you have any questions just let me know